Hi, my name is Sarah. I work for the Animal Rescue Program at Mystic Aquarium. And we're in Charlestown, Rhode Island. We are necropsying a minke whale that was about 20 feet long and washed up on this beach on Monday night. We took a couple days to coordinate logistics with Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management and Atlantic Marine Conservation Society out on Long Island. And we all collaborated to come together and pull resources in order to make a necropsy like this happen. Necropsies are very extensive. We do a full external exam on the animal and look for any unusual or abnormal findings and take measurements and photos. And then the team will go internally to look at all the organs and see if there's any abnormalities um, inside with any of the tissues and we'll collect various tissue samples that we'll send off to a pathologist. And then all of those things combined together help us build a case for this particular animal as we try to figure out what might have happened um, and why this animal died. Necropsies like this are so important. Uh, minke whales, humpback whales, and the North Atlantic right whale are all three common species that we see in our coverage area and all three of those animals and species have an unusual mortality event declared, which means that over the past couple of years, then there has been an increase in mortality for those species. So we do everything we can, and it requires a lot of collaboration in order to come together and try to find out what happened with this particular animal and tell its story so we can also help the population as a whole. When we are done with a necropsy, we work with this heavy machinery behind us with great equipment operators who will assist us with burying the carcass. So uh, burying an animal on the beach is preferred, um, the easiest and safest way that we can dispose of the carcass. And people are always surprised at just how quickly they decompose. Some of the most common threats to the three species of whales that we see in our coverage area are vessel strikes, entanglements in marine debris. Sometimes they will ingest marine debris as well. Things that we can all do to help these species are if you are a boater, please be mindful that animals like these do come up to breathe, so be watchful for them. Um, and then we'll do our best to, to limit our plastic use and pick up any marine debris that you see on the beach.